Welcome to Doe Campbell Stadium in Tallahassee, proud home of the Florida State Seminoles since 1950. Hello everyone, I'm Brad Nessler, and beside me in the booth is Kirk Herbstreet. Aaron Andrews is also with us. She'll be reporting from the sidelines. Today's college football action is brought to you by Nissan, proud partner of the Heisman Trophy. We'll see the Alabama Crimson Tide and the Seminoles of Florida State. Here come the Seminoles. Alabama, they know that neither team has much of an advantage on paper. These are the matchups you just love. These two teams are so much alike that it's got to be a really hard fought and close game all the way. For Alabama, they come at you with a super linebacker. I can't wait to see how he performs against a real top notch tailback. It should be a test of his run stopping ability. It's time for the coin toss presented by Nissan, proud partner of the Heisman Trophy. Florida State will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. And down he goes at the 23. What should we expect from them in this game? You might see a lot of receivers on the field, but sometimes they're just decoys. There to open up the defense and give the tailback room to maneuver. But you need to be careful because they're more than capable of airing it out to those guys as well. From their own 25-yard line, second down. He's out to the 30. Across midfield. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. And a huge touchdown play. Just a great effort there. Once he had some space, it was off to the races. And he converts the extra point. A short two-play, 76-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lines. So our score, seven, nothing. They'll bring him down at the 29. The offense will start at the 29-yard line, first and 10. They run straight, brought down quickly. The running back gets two on the carry. You're not going to be able to get by a sure tackler like this linebacker too often. Back to pass. Way to look it in. A seven-yard play. That's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. From their own 38-yard line, third down. They go with a toss. You've got to admire the effort to make sure he got every last foot he needed to pick up the first down.
First down, look at the throw. And they get the sack. They showed some real tenacity not giving up on that play. They just kept coming and finally able to bring him down for a loss. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. The score here in Dope Campbell, Alabama, 7, FSU, nothing. It's second and 13. Two minutes left in the half. Handoff. Brought down quickly. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's taken down at the 49. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. Alabama will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Well, I tell you, it takes some real skill to kill the ball that close to the goal line. Great job by the punter. This drive will start at the one-yard line. Hands it to the back. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Pitch left and he'll lose yards here. Well, that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run, and they got the better of them that time. They're about four yards away here on third down. And this place is rocking. Got a man. Watch out here. Excellent open field tackle. The Crimson Tide take a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. First and 10, ball on the 20-yard line. They'll throw on first down. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Caught over the middle. And he's tackled at the 28. And this crowd trying to will their defense to make a stop here on third and short. Gives a little pump fake. Chucks it deep down the right side. Got it. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown. Huge play. You talk about taking the momentum into the locker room. What a passing catch. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice six play, 100 yard drive. And that's good for a touchdown. So our score, 14, nothing. We're halfway through and it's been a good one. The score here in Dope Campbell, Alabama, 14, FSU, nothing. Alabama is set to kick this ball off to start the second half. He's to the 10. Across the 30. Oh, it's the kicker that comes up with a tackle. Let's toss it down to Aaron Andrews for an update from the sidelines. It was a cleanly played first half as far as turnovers were concerned. And for Alabama, they have to get more pressure on the quarterback. Brad, back up to you. They'll throw on first down. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. That 
So it's second down and about two yards to go. And he just gets rid of it. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. And they're not going to get it. Great stop. And they'll still be a little short of the first down line. Well, they get some positive yards, but this defensive line really busted through and broke that play up. ground and he's not going to make it they are all over him I'm not sure the offense had much of a choice here it was a pretty short conversion the defense just made a good play really a great stop by the defense this will go down as one of those critical plays they'll go to work at the 49 first down 10 to go Ready. hand off to the back look out he goes down at the 26-yard line. He got just a little bit of daylight, and that's all he needed to turn that one into a big play. From the 26-yard line, first down. run to the left there. From the 21 yard line, second down. They work the right side and there is nothing going there. Florida State. Just took their first time out. From the 18-yard line, it's third down. And he's hit before he could go anywhere. Florida State will take their second time out of the half. First down on the 11 going in. Runs left and quickly taken down. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. Our score here in Tallahassee is Alabama 14, FSU nothing. Second down, eight yards to go. We have two minutes left to play in this game. Hands it off inside, brought down. The Seminoles call for a timeout, and that was their last timeout. Third down. Let's see if they can put it in from six yards out. Can't find anyone open. Under heavy pressure, he steps out at the 10-yard line. They attempted to pick up the first by running it, and they failed. Yeah, and the defensive line won that battle easily. It's up. Not a very good attempt there by the kicker. The kicker just cannot hang his head after that miss. I know he should have made it, but they may need him a little bit later on, and he needs to be ready and confident when that happens. And the defense made a big stop on fourth down the last time this offense was out there. That stop gave this defense some momentum last time out. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep that intensity on this drive. Inside the 30, and they bring him down at the 25. I don't know if he could have delivered a better ball to the receiver if he'd been standing next to him. That was spectacular. And he stops the clock with a spike. The Crimson Tide take a timeout, and they've got two remaining. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Taken down at the 11. Spikes the ball. It's second down, 11 yards out. Moves 
comes up, and the defense has got it. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. And they'll probably try to throw here as they line up on third down and 14. Back to pass. It's very disruptive to a quarterback's rhythm to have his passes batted down like that. Nice play by the lineman. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Drops back to pass. Throws it, and it's caught for the touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a seven-play, 80-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. They got it back. This game could be coming down to the wire. This has just been a very intense fourth quarter, and there's still plenty of football left. Moves up in the pocket, and down he goes. You can credit some of that to the blitz. The offensive line just wasn't able to handle all the pressure on that play. The spike will stop the clock. Well, this is a quarterback's nightmare. It's third down and very long, and they really need a first down right here. He drops back. Completes. It's the junior. He's pushed out of bounds at the 42. When they broke the huddle, I'm sure everybody knew the ball was going to go to this receiver, and he still brought it in to give this team a big lift. He throws it. Almost picked off. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. That makes it, makes it second and ten. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Caught over the middle. And he's tackled at the 38-yard line. They get four yards on that pass play. I like the play call here. Getting to the receiver on the screen, he had blockers in front, and he turned the play into a nice little game. What a relief it is for a quarterback to know that he's got a receiver like this who can step up when he needs him on third down. Spikes the ball. Second down, 10 yards to go. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. The spike will stop the clock. This might be their last chance. Fourth down. Drops back to pass. Complete. Got an opening. Touchdown, FSU. Oh, my gosh. It's all coming down to this point after try. This might be the hardest extra point this young man has ever kicked in his life. That's the end of the fourth quarter, and we are headed to overtime. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. That makes four sacks today. Well, this speed is difficult to defend because you have to try to keep them off balance so they can't use their quickness. Back to pass. Throws. And he's hit immediately. Great touch by the quarterback. Floating that one right into his hands. That takes some skill. And it's
gets knocked down. From the 13-yard line, second down. On the ground with a tailback. Around five yards on the delayed handoff. It's third down, and they're only seven yards away from the end zone. Caught out in the open. Touchdown, Florida State. Well, this is what it's all about in college football. I score, now let's see if you can respond. Great teams always find a way to come through. And he hits the PAT. First and 10, ball on the 25-yard line. Gets it, he's in space. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. A part of any quarterback's arsenal should be the ability to sell the run with a good fake. He does a really good job here on the fake, and then they pick up some nice yards. He makes it to the six-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. Picked off, and this one is finally over. Oh, he got nailed on that one. And the ball game's over. And our final score in this one, Florida State 21, Alabama 14. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action in this one? This is the kind of game you just love if you're a fan. Exciting, hard fought, coming right down to the end and then some. Florida State had their work cut out for them today, but they were up against a team very similar to them in a lot of ways. And those are always the toughest matchups. It took a lot to get this victory. Couldn't have asked for a better game from this guy. He's our player of the game winner. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 12. For Kirk Herbstreet and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying goodbye.